Hey, what's up guys? Mavi TV here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a TikTok video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Many of you use different apps and different softwares for creating your TikTok videos, but I just wanted to show you that using Adobe Premiere Pro is not a complicated process and is very simple, and you can do this under five minutes, which is what I'm going to prove to you today. So firstly, all you need to do is open up Adobe Premiere Pro. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your clip, which you've downloaded either from Twitch or you've got from your recording software, such as OBS, and you're going to move this into your project side. Next, we're going to drag this onto the timeline. And now you'll see that the videos come up. For TikTok and YouTube Shorts, you need to change the frame size. The frame size is not is just not going to work. So you need to change this to 1080 by 1920. Click OK and click OK again. Now you'll see that now that we've changed the sequence settings, you've got this black, black box in which we're going to get rid of. Now what we need to do next is create some layers. So we're just going to drag and drop this up using the Alt key and we're going to make three layers. And I'm going to show you why we make three in a second. And now we want to circle back and click on this bottom layer because this is going to be the base layer that we're working on. Now what we need to do is we need to make this a little bit bigger because we're going to fill out those black squares. And so we're just going to move this up to 217. 217 seems really good. Next, we want to add an effect to this because we don't actually want this in the same uh, the same clarity as the rest of the video. So what we want to do is add a blur on this. And this one's called Gaussian Blur. So if you type this into the effects panel and we're going to drag and drop this up into the source. And all we're going to do is click on this blurriness level and we're going to change this to 21. I feel like 21 is a, ver is a very good standard for, uh, for the videos that I've previously put out there. And you can view those videos on TikTok and you can view those on Hover as well. And the links will be in the description for this video. So now that we've got this uh, bottom layer sorted, let's move on to the next layers. So ultimately, we've got two more layers. We want one with the gameplay and we want one with the camera. So let's make this next layer a little bit bigger just so we can get the camera into shape. So we're going to change the position on this. In fact, it's better just to freeform. If you click on the position, you can drag and drop this around as you please. So I'm going to move this there. And now I want to crop out the video. So I'm going to add another effect into this. So if you type into the bottom left crop, drag and drop this up, click on crop again. And now we can just make this whichever size that we want. And you can fiddle around for the best settings. And once you've got those settings, you can note them down and then it's just a case of typing the values into the left hand column and that should be the perfect ones to get consistency across your videos. So now that we've got the camera in the uh, in the correct crop, we're going to move this up and we're going to scale it up just so everyone can see how beautiful you really are. And we're going to move this up into the top left. Excellent. Now we want to click onto the second layer. We're going to increase the size because I don't want any of this camera stuff that's left in the right hand side but I also want to show the gameplay and I don't want the FOV to be so slight that you can't see what's going on to the left and the right so I'm just going to move this up ever so slightly and drag that up and now we have quite simply a TikTok video now obviously what we can do is add a bunch more effects and we can add some text into it but here we have the basis for a TikTok video in under two minutes and what we're going to do uh throughout the uh th throughout the rest of the editing process is make sure that these uh crop values are aligned properly and then we can make this really crisp and clear now the next thing i want to show you is just adding a bit of text into this because obviously this is just a plain video and it looks really really basic at the minute but what we're going to do is add some text into here and we're going to show off your twitch username or your streaming software or your streaming uh website username so we're going to add the text in just by clicking this little text button in here. Click wherever you want it. And we're going to highlight that text. Now what we're going to do is move over to the left hand side. And we're going to click stroke because we want this text to pop out a little bit. Just so everyone can read it and it looks a little bit more professional than just having some really basic text on there. So choose a color that pops. I usually choose purple and click OK. Now what we want to do is increase the stroke width. And we're going to get this up to roughly 17 or 18, just so we can see the text pop in. Now, what we're going to do 
is we're going to this second layer, which is the gameplay layer. We're going to make that smaller because we want to really show off and really highlight. We want to really highlight the text that's been shown. So if I click on this second layer, I'm going to drag this over and then I'm going to put this Twitch. Make sure that the uh, the video audio is still aligned and but this text is now showing in the blurry screen so it pops and now if you look at the mvs no i'm a nice person i'm a nice person your twitch user pops and then let's see another video and guys really short that is how to make a video in adobe premiere pro now for the next part we need to export this so i've already got a uh, a saved saved setting but what we want to do is go into export settings and what we want to choose is a preset I've already got one made that's custom, uh, which is TikTok export, but these are the right settings that you need. So when you scroll down, you want export video clicked, export audio clicked as well. In the effects, you want to just follow these settings, luminetri luminetri look unticked, STR conform unticked, image overlay unticked. None of these are unticked. For the video settings, you want to make sure that this is still 1080p by 1920. Your frame rate rate is on 60, your field order is on progressive, your square pixel is 1.0, and you want to render that at maximum depth because that's what's going to give you that best quality. For the encoding settings, I'm using software encoding. There's no need to use graphic uh, or your GPU. For the profile, I'm going to use high. All of these should be default settings. Now, here's a really important part. For the bitrate settings, you want to do a two pass because this is going to, again, give you the best quality that you want. The target bitrate, hit that at 15. Maximum bitrate, hit that at 40. And then again, that's going to give you that really good quality. But it's not going to take you over the limit where it starts to look grainy. Advanced settings, keyframe distance. Now, once you've got all those settings in, you can save that as preset and you can save that as TikTok. And then all you need to do is export that. And then that will save then to wherever you got your TikTok videos. Guys, if you like the video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Drop a follow on Twitch and uh, stay wavy always. Thanks very much for watching.